Hi Pisces, thank you for joining me for your January read. Please remember that this is general, so it's not going to resonate with absolutely everybody. It's also timeless and it's not gender specific. Because time and energy is fluid, it means the roles can be switched. So please do bear that in mind if you're cross watching. But because this is Pisces reading, I will be addressing them. It can easily be in reverse though, so always, always use your own discernment. You take what's resonating for you and you leave what doesn't. I cannot censor, choose nor control what's coming out of the cards. I'm literally just reading them and it's up to you what you decide to do with it. You do have free will. Tarot is not in charge here. You are. And for everything else, please read the descriptions box. Okay, so let's get into your reading for you then, Pisces, for the month of January 2021. And you've got a leg up. Receiving help, delegating authority, allowing teamwork and independence to co-mingle ask for help and it came out with deep knowing intuition empathy hypersensitivity tune in and trust your vibes your hunches will pay dividends i'm not surprised to see that in your reading pisces you're naturally one of the most intuitive signs of the zodiac okay if you've got a hunch during the month of january uh, either good or bad doesn't matter follow it okay absolutely follow it. Never ever question your own intuition and your own, uh, yeah, I'm going to say it, never question your own psychic abilities, okay? Um, th there's something here, you're going to be receiving help from an unexpected source. Um, if, if that doesn't hit home with you, then it's saying, look, Pisces, don't be afraid at any point in time to ask for help. Okay, now this could be help from someone in the, in the physical, or this could be help from the, the like the, the spirit world basically. Um, your your angels, your guides, your ancestors, whichever name you prefer to to use, doesn't really make a difference because it's all part of the same thing. You see, so. I am feeling really strongly, though, that you will be receiving help and support from a very, very unexpected source. Very unexpected. It's almost as if the, the person that you would least expect help from, they're going to be helping you. OK, um, I don't know what this hunch is all about, though. OK. I'm not able to see much further than that at this point in time. I will start pulling your tarot though, and hopefully we can find out more from there for you. But you'll know because it's your hunch. It's, you know, it, this is all about your intuition. You have a nine card spread for Pisces, please. Thank you. Uh, the Magician, nice. So your first card out is the Magician, that's Mercury Energy, Virgo, Gemini. It's a reminder that basically you are the creator of, uh, of your own destiny. You do have within you everything that it takes to be successful. Deep down you know this, but you're not exactly on best terms with your higher self right now. So while you know it, you don't fully believe it, okay? Two of coins, it's Capricorn energy, and the three of cups, Cancerian. So there's gonna be a reason to celebrate here, Pisces. For those of you who are struggling with your finances, uh, you, you're gonna be able to balance out your finances, and it is gonna be a cause for a celebration. Uh, the Hermit, it's Virgo energy. With the seven of wands, that's Leo. So, Okay, you feel at the moment that everybody's wanting a piece of you. Oh, that just landed in my lap. That's the five of coins, Tyrian energy. Yeah, you feel that everybody's wanting a piece of you at the moment. And you're literally, you're just wanting to take five minutes out to yourself. Um, it's like, your vibe is, you're struggling with feelings of uh, selfishness. And you're not being selfish, Pisces, just by wanting to take a break, okay? I mean, with this Seven of Wands, it's like you've got everybody um, expecting quite a lot from you at this time, and you're feeling quite overwhelmed with it all. Um, now, w without 
going too much into that sort of victimhood type energy. Uh, I, I do feel your pain because you do have a lot of expectations that's being put on you right now. Um, it almost feels like there's a lot of nagging energy around you and you just want to tell everyone to just, you know, GTFO, leave you alone for five minutes, let you take a break. Um, you're feeling the pressure. You're definitely under a lot of strain. In the meanwhile, you've got someone, Five of Cups, Scorpion Energy, King of Cups, it's also Scorpion Energy. You've got someone here that's missing you as well, Pisces, and they're, uh, they're, they're wanting to have a reunion with you. They're looking back on the things that they said with a lot of regret, and you've got the Queen of Wands, so that's Aries Energy. Um, this could be someone who you felt was taking you for granted and that it's like they just expected you to shoulder everything. Now, this could be, for some of you, you could have had uh, children with this individual, um, but it's, it's almost as if they thought the grass was greener elsewhere. And I'm seeing that they've learnt the hard way that that wasn't the case. And again, cross watches, this could be switched. This could be completely in reverse. Um, but either way, Pisces, you've got someone who is wanting to make their return. Seven of Swords, Aquarius energy. Yeah, lies, deceit, uh, drama, the high priestess, uh, moon energy. That's very much your energy right now in the Ten of Swords, Gemini energy. So there, there's an inevitable ending here. Someone is feeling a lot like they are the victim. Uh, they, they're feeling like they gave up everything for this other individual and they received absolutely nothing in return. Yeah, the Empress and Eight of Swords. So yeah, the chances are quite high that you've had a family with this individual. You've got the star hidden under there as well. It's Aquarian energy. So <clears throat> you're in two minds, Pisces, when it pertains to this particular individual. It's like part of you does want some kind of reconciliation but then the other part of you is still really angry and really uh, you know bitter about the way that you were treated basically you can feel that for them it's not over and it kind of, it keeps putting you back in this mindset of it is but i don't know if it really is over like a hundred percent you're kind of still on the fence with this one. Uh, but again, that's purely because there's a clash here between uh, fantasy and reality. Um, this individual, they could have been quite manipulative as well. Seven of Swords, uh, the Magicians, Seven of Wands. They could have been speaking to someone else behind your back. Um, they were basically offering themselves to another situation when, quite frankly, they shouldn't have been. So this is the individual Pisces that's showing up in your reading. Uh, someone who did the dirty on you in the past uh, would like to make their return. So again, as I said at the start of the reading, it's completely up to you what you decide to do with the information. Okay, you do have free will. Tarot is not in charge. Um, I'm seeing that there's a temptation here though, Pisces, for you to try and make this individual stew for a bit longer before you make any kind of a decision. I'm also seeing here, Pisces, um, there's some form of triangulation that's taking place now. Obviously, this is completely up to whoever it is that's watching the video to decide uh, where they are in this particular timeline. But I am seeing triangulation between Pisces and two individuals, right? Um, 
someone is dealing with an individual who they, they like attention and they keep fleeting between Pisces and one of their exes and it's causing this sort of triangulation between Pisces and whoever the other, let, let's say victim is, okay? Um, I don't necessarily like that word, but we're seeing a lot of lies, a lot of deceit, right? We're seeing a lot of uh, competition. Um, the, the need to feel as if you owe some kind of an explanation or it, it's almost as if Pisces, you're trying to defend yourself as well. You, you're trying to put your case forward with this individual and saying, look, the way that you're treating me, it, it's not fair. I cannot continue along this path. Um, there, there is a vibe of inevitability with this, okay? And it's like Pisces, you, you have to come to terms with the fact that your intuition has been telling you for the longest, longest time that this person cannot be trusted and that they've been talking to someone else behind your back. They seem to think the grass is greener and that they're, they're about to learn a very, very difficult lesson. And that's basically no longer having you in their life. Um, this is an individual who is, they're trying to be greedy. They're trying to have you and somebody else at the same time. It's not going to work. They keep uh, switching up the script, chopping and changing between you and this other person. I mean, it's like, if you look here, the King of Cups, let's say for argument's sake, you're the Queen of Wands, okay? very mysterious, very sexy, um, very magnetic, okay? It doesn't matter if you're feminine or masculine, you can still be embodying the Queen of Wands energies because tarot is not gender specific. But the point I'm trying to make is you're looking at this King of Cups, right? And this King of Cups has got his back turned to you and the King of Cups, he's actually looking at the Five of Cups. He's looking at the past. He's looking at the way that things were, uh, the, the way that things could have been. He's too focused on what was instead, instead of what is. And they're being really, really immature with their emotions. Uh, they keep... It, it's like they're, they're making promises right across the board that they cannot keep. And that's why we're seeing the Seven of Swords. We're seeing here um, that this situation, it is gonna come to its plateau, which you're fully aware of. You completely understand that whatever this is, it's on its way out, right? You completely understand that. Uh, you are feeling victimized by this individual because you did so, so much for them, right? Uh, at one point, you were even questioning yourself, your worth and your value. Uh, for some of you, this has gone on for quite a few years that I can see in this read. And then you've got the star, but you still wish that it could be fixed or you still hope that it could be fixed or this could be your person. You know, they, they've been treating you badly for X amount of years and they're still hoping that it can it can be fixed. Um, they're taking the piss, okay? Let's be honest, the fool and then the nine of swords. So if you were, for argument's sake, to give this individual a second chance, I say a second chance. For some of you, I mean, th this is like the sixth, seventh and eighth chance that you've given this individual. If you continue to give this person chances, then they are going to take advantage of it. I'm not seeing any kind of change in their behaviour. I'm seeing a repeating cycle of the same old nightmare until you cut them off, okay? and start making plans for your own future. That's the only way that this uh, blockage can come to an end. 
That's the only way that it can come to its full conclusion. Because right now, Pisces, I'm seeing that someone is taking advantage of you. Your guts are telling you this. You've got knowledge, information and help that's coming towards you from an unexpected source. Um, I am seeing that you're going to be able to get yourself out of this particular situation. I am seeing that. Because it's going to get to the point, Pisces, where you remember who you are and you remember your strength and your power. Um, difficult read, granted. <laughs> But it's showing up in you. It's showing up for a reason. Okay, it is something that needs to be tackled, or it's forever going to be hanging over your head until it is tackled. Okay, so if you've made it this far into the reading, then please do consider giving me a cheeky wee like, a subscribe, or a comment. Maybe even all three if you're feeling really, really generous. And thank you so, so much to all of those who have already supported my channel. It genuinely and honestly does mean the absolute world to me. So thank you. It's for Pisces, please. Okay. Full moon in Pisces. Balance, spirituality and practicality. It says it's time to find the inner balance between responsibilities and your dreams. Uh, you're in a super romantic but not super realistic state. Follow your intuition. This card could herald the end of a dream. The person that you're inquiring about is a soulmate. Avoid substance abuse. So somebody within this uh, dynamic, they're, they needn't face reality. Uh, and, and Pisces, it's like this individual, they cannot continue to take advantage of you in the way that they have been it's unfair like deeply deeply unfair and the only one who can basically um i want to say it's it's not your fault the way that this individual has been treating you but the part that you do have control over is how long somebody like that stays in your life for that's the bit that's within your control okay Show the world the real you, Phil Moon in Aquarius. Your unique characteristics is what makes you special. Uh, don't lose the beauty and romance of life. You're too much in your head, get in your heart. A friend is needing you. A situation is going to a situation is going to take an unexpected turn. Okay, so yeah. This this is a situation Pisces where you might have been gaslighted by somebody as well um, it's it's almost as if you knew that they were up to something you confronted them they denied it they lied about it and you, you, it's like for a moment they were successful at getting you to question your own version of reality for a moment and then you started listening to your intuition and you were like nah something's really off with this situation like I know it I know it and then you've got the evidence as well and it it's like the evidence against this individual is absolutely compelling so I mean they're an absolute fool if they seem to think that they can continue to pull the wool over your eyes what more can I say, you know? For some of you, this is an ex that cheated on you in the past and they seem to think that they can make a return. That's here as well. And your cards are indicating that if that person's cheated on you and now they're coming back in and asking you for a second chance, your cards are suggesting that it's not a good idea. Surrender to the wisdom of your body. Listen to your body's messages about a person or a situation. Boom. If you feel physically drained or uncomfortable, then be cautious. If you're energised and happy, then move forward. You know in your heart of hearts, Pisces, what you should do in this situation. This is someone who is trying to sell you a dream. 
and it has no substance. Thank you. Okay, right, so your stone, interestingly enough, is new might, and it says strength. I am strong in mind, body, and spirit. Yes, you are. Now, the interesting thing, as I say with new might, I've got some here. That's new might. It's a black stone, if it all focus. And it's got the tiniest, tiniest gold bits inside. It's new might. And I say it's interesting that it's come out in your read Pisces because new might is used for shadow work. It's used for when we have to face the pieces of who we are that we don't like. Okay, we have to face them head on, right? Shadow work. So you're being advised here to, to go within, look really deep within yourself and to figure out why, what within you allowed yourself to, uh, to be attracted to a toxic individual in the first place, okay? And that's where you're going to find your answers. Because you're worth far, far more than that. You know that you are. However, there's some kind of conditioning that's taken place throughout your lifetime that has uh, led you to believe that you're somehow not good enough. That somehow this little shit that I'm seeing in your read is the best that you're going to get. That's past conditioning. Okay. You look like a shit show. You're a hot mess. Fact. Clean yourself up. You're going through some tough shit. Everyone has their turn. Welcome to yours. Gather your tired ass up and handle it. That's for the individual who keeps treating you like crap. They, they need to figure shit out on their own. They need to clean their shit up. They need to stop dragging you down with them. And they need to stop piling their problems onto you as well. See? Time to let go. Move the fuck on. Lightning. Figure shit out on your own. You've already got the answers here to this, Pisces. Your gut instincts were setting off so many alarm bells. It was unreal. But you gave this individual the benefit of the doubt anyway. Interesting read, really, really deep read as well. Um, my heart absolutely goes out to whoever is resonating with this read because honestly, as someone who has been through that <laughs> a few times, um, it's, it's not easy and it is really, really difficult to break the habit of a lifetime. It's really, really difficult to uh, do that necessary shadow work to figure out why toxic individuals feel really uh, magnetic? Um, why, why is there this natural attraction to toxic people? And you will find that it stems from your childhood, right? You, you will usually find that because the way that our parents treat us, it kind of, it sets the script then for the rest of your life. It sets a precedence for uh, how much disgusting treatment you accept upon your person. Okay, so take a closer look into that. Um, it's not going to be easy, but I can tell you from my heart and my soul, it is going to be worth it because your life is is going to improve dramatically after this is acknowledged i can promise you okay you are strong enough to take this on absolutely really really dark read pisces um very very best of luck to you but that is your focus for january it's straight up shadow work 
Okay, so that is what I have for you, Pisces. If you would like to book a private reading with me, then the link to do so is in the descriptions box and it's in the pinned comments below. Thank you so, so much for watching. Have a lovely week and I'll see you in the next one. Bye.